Okay, this is fifth grade lesson 57, and this is on simple probability. Now, the reason why they're calling it simple is not because it's simple, but because as you keep getting older, it's going to get more complex, okay? And so this would be the simplest form of probability as you begin to think about it, okay? What is probability? Probably the most way you've heard it up to this point in your life is there's a 70% chance it's going to rain. Okay, yeah. so does that mean that it's more likely to rain or less likely? More. Yeah, because it's 70%. So if we were looking at a scale from 0 to 100%, okay, 50%, what if I said it's 50% chance to rain today? What would that actually mean? Uh, it could rain and it couldn't. Right, okay. So it's like a 50-50. So 50% um, is it could rain and 50% it couldn't rain, right? Okay, and so the closer you get to 100, the more likely it is to happen, okay? So the closer, I'm gonna put more likely over here, less likely here, okay? So what does 50% mean? Not half. less or more, but actually half and half, half chance, okay? Now, so what does zero mean? If this is less likely to happen, what would zero? Not, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. 0% chance, um, so impossible. Okay? And this, 100% is going to happen. It's absolutely certain is the word they're using. Okay? So that kind of gives you a scale of what we're looking at. All right? And they may ask you, so how likely is it that this will happen? And you'll tell me less likely, more likely, certain, or impossible. Or half and half chance. Yeah. Okay? So those are just some of the words they're wanting you to get accustomed to saying and using when you're talking about probability. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, if I talk about this word called chance, um, it basically means what chance is it going to rain? And I say 70% chance. That just means it's like describing the probability of something. Mm -hmm. So what chance is it that it's going to rain? 70% chance, okay? So that's what the word chance is using, all right? Now, if, um, let's say you were put in a drawing, and there, what I mean by that is your name on, was on a slip of paper and put into a bowl that has a, tons of people's names. Let's say at this event there were a thousand people there, okay? And you took a slip of paper, and uh, the other people took a slip of paper, so in this bowl is a thousand name tags, okay, that say their name and your name on it, okay? A thousand of them. <laughs> so what is the chance that your name will get drawn? Uh, one out of a thousand. One out of a thousand. What are your chances that you won't get drawn? One out of a thousand. 999 out of a thousand. Okay, so which one has more of a chance for your name to be drawn or your name not be drawn? Not. Right, okay, so that's how... the lottery. Right, so that's how probability, it's called probability. That's how probability works, okay? We're going to look at this die, okay? I would call it a dice if we had two of them, but it's actually it's called a die. Isn't that weird? <laughs> okay, so how many different... Numbers are on this die. Um, six. Yep. Okay. So on this cube, I don't know if you can see it or not from home, but this has six different um, uh, chances, I guess you would say. Six different dots. Okay. You have a one dot here, a four dot, okay, a two, a three, a six, and a five. So there are six different dots on here and all indicating a different number, right? Okay, so I want to give you four different possibilities, okay? And I want you to tell me likely, unlikely, or less likely, certain, or impossible. Okay. On these, okay? Hey, let's look at this one. What is the chance that this cube will stop on three? Uh, less likely. Okay, why? Out of six? Uh-huh. 
Oh no, no, no. Yeah, that no, you're right. You're right. That'll be it is less likely. chance, right? No. Okay, because the three, how many threes are on this? One. One three. Out of how many numbers? Six. Okay. So is that a very likely chance? No. No. So you're gonna say unlikely, which is what you said, or less likely. Alright, let's try this next one. That the cube will stop with more than two dots on top. So what is more than two? More than two is a three. If you roll a three. A four, a five, and a six. A four, a five, and a six. So what are our chances? One, two, three, four out of six uh, dots. Out of six. Okay, you get what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. So is this impossible, less likely, half and half, more, more likely, or absolutely certain? Probably less likely. Okay. No. More likely. More likely. Because we have at least, we can get four of these numbers out of six. So, yeah. remember, if we were putting it on a scale from one to six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I need to spread that out. Five and six. Okay? We have four out of six. Okay, which means that um, there are four out of six chances. So, we're getting closer. This is halfway right here. So if we have four out of six chances, it's more than likely. Okay? You get that? Mm-hmm. Okay, one out of six is less likely because you only have one out of six chances. This one will have four out of six chances to get one of those numbers. Right? Yes. Okay. Now, listen to this one. What is the chance that a cube will stop with fewer than seven dots on top? Almost certain. Uh, absolutely yeah, certain. certain. Yeah. Because it will always have less than seven because every single number. So we have a six out of six chance. Because every single one of these is less than six. There are six of them that are less than, than, I'm sorry, that are less than seven. There are six numbers on this cube that are less than seven. So we have a six out of six chance. So it's absolutely certain. More likely on this one, less likely on this one. Okay? okay, and listen to this one, last one. The cube, what is the chance that a cube will stop with more than six dots on top? More than six. Um, absolutely not. Impossible. We have zero out of six chances of getting a seven. <laughs> yeah. So it's impossible. So those are the words they're wanting you to use. Impossible, certain, more likely, less likely, okay? So do you understand how that works, how we did that? Yes. Okay, now, a lot of times you'll do an experiment that'll show you. So we could have actually like rolled yeah. and seen what we landed on to see what chances and stuff like that to find out the outcome, okay? But now let's look at something that's different than a die, okay? And we're gonna be looking at a circular. Um, this is called like a, a spinner a lot of times. Have you ever played a game that has a spinner on it? Yes. Has maybe have one, two, three, four, five on it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, that's what we're going to be looking at. So, I'm going to break this up into five dis different sections. Okay? Not quite <laughs> equal, just pretend like it is. Let's try to make that a little bit more equal. A little bit better. Just pretend like they're equal, okay? Okay. Now, this is A... C, C, B, and C. Now, just from looking at this, which one has the best chance C. to winning? Yeah, C will. And what about A and B? Do they have equal amount of chances? Um, one out of five. One out of five, and what does B have? One out of five. One out of five. What does C have? Three out of five. Yeah, so there, he's definitely more, more likely, likely going to get the win. Yeah, okay, so... If I asked you to suppose the spun, spun, spinner is spun and stops in one of the sectors, they want me to find the probability of each of the possible outcomes, okay? So what are my chances of getting an A? One out of five. One out of five. What are my chances of getting a B? One out of five. One out of five. What are my chances of getting a C? Three out of five. Okay, we did all that, okay? But what I want you to see is if I added up all of those outcomes, guess what I would get? One, two, three, four, five. 
five out of five, which makes up the scoreboard or the yeah. spinner, which makes sense. Okay, but they want you to see that. Okay, so feel like you're understanding so far? Yes. Okay, let's do one more last thing. Let's say we're using marbles. Okay, okay? and let's say you had a bag, and in your bag that you reach into that you can't see, it's not yeah. clear, it's like a, a paper bag, okay, has five red marbles. So I'm going to write down what we have in the bag. Here's our bag. Okay. In our bag, we have five red marbles. We have three blue marbles. And we have two yellow marbles. Got it? So, how many marbles do we have in all? Um... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. You're exactly right. There are ten marbles in here. Okay, now, let me ask you this question. Find the probability that when you reach in and pull out a marble, it's going to be blue. What are my chances? Three out of ten. Three out of ten. So it's very important that you know this information, even though they didn't give it in the, the lesson or the question. Mm -hmm. We had to discover this to answer the problem. It's always good to know how much the fullness of, like 100% is the fullness of what's the chances of rain. Uh -huh. The dice, what are the chances? Six. We have six total. So we always need to know the total when you're doing probability. It's very yes. important. So we found 10 marbles. Okay. So what are the chances of getting a blue? Three out of 10. Okay. okay? If we were to put this on a scale from one to 10, Five being the middle. Where would three go? To the between one and five. Yeah, somewhere right in here. Okay. So am I more likely or less likely? Less likely. Yeah, I'm less likely to pull a blue. Got it? Alright, let's try. What's the probability that the marble will not be blue? Um uh, seven out of perfect. So what he did, he, uh, Eli did it just right, he added the not blues, which are the red and the yellows, and there's seven of not blues. So he has a seven in ten chance of getting a red or a yellow marble. So where would this one lie on this graph? Between five and right. ten. So is it less likely, more likely, half and half? More likely. More likely. It's more likely that he's going to get a red or a yellow when he reaches in. Yeah. And less likely that he's going to get a blue. Right? Yes. All right, so that is lesson 57, and you learned about probability.